Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from PC Addicts. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you three different applications that you can use. Actually, there's a lot more, but uh, the three that I have used recently uh, to be able to remote desktop from your Mac OS X machine into a Windows machine. First one up is gonna be called Cord. Now, this one, this is the one I first started using, and I actually liked it quite well until I tried a couple different ones. Um, this one, I didn't have any major problems. A buddy of mine at work did have a problem with the the mouse and, and the way the mouse integrates or something. I, I, I can't even remember exactly what it was. It wasn't a big issue to me, but it was a big enough issue to him where he found a different application he liked. So one thing I do like about Cord here is that it has a quick connect box up here. So if you did want to quickly connect to a machine, 10.2.0.20, which is my home desktop machine, my Windows machine, um, you can just type it in there really quick. Or if you're connected to a VPN, and you know I'm trying to get to my work or some other side business that I'm doing. Um, you can quickly type it in there, but if you if you're doing that often enough, just create a saved server. So you can come down here to the plus sign, come up here and name it something um, home PC. How about that? And then address 10.2.0.20. Username is going to be my Davis at hotmail.com. Oops. Password I'm not going to put in because I do like to put in my password as I'm connecting. And nothing else. I'm going to leave the 1440 by 900. Um, actually, let's drop it down to 1280 by 800 just for this video here. And uh, go ahead and close that. And we can just double click it. Come right in here. And I am in here. So um, one quick thing. The command key does launch your start button here. So that's good. Um, there's a couple issues I had with this as well. When I did certain hotkeys and I would do them by accident, I don't know if it was like a, a control command S or something, I don't know. There were some weird hotkey combinations that I was doing where it, it caused some weird issues with the remote desktop, but it wasn't a major, major problem. And there's some other options in here if you do open up Inspector here and hit this little drop down, performance and audio, you can set different uh, parameters here. There's not much else to this one that I wanted to show you, so let's go ahead and minimize that, and we're gonna bring up our next one. We're gonna do the 2X Client RDP. Um, this one I just installed today and tried it out here on the Mac. We, I do use it, or I have used it on um, iOS. This, is my, this was my first attempt here, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a new connection. Um, we're gonna go right click on the RDP connections and do a new connection. It's a standard RDP primary connection. Uh, this is going to be the 10.2.0.20 port is my default port. This one I'm going to just name it my <laughs> whole PC, my home PC. And username SoCalDavis at mail.com. Trying to type with this microphone right here. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And there's, well, before we do, we can, there's definitely different options. I don't want to go full screen by default. Let's go ahead and make it, um, let's do 1280 by 720. And actually, let's drop that down a little bit more. Now, nah, we'll leave it at that. Local resources, I don't care about the printers. Disk drives, you can configure. Um, some folder redirection. I haven't done it in this application yet, but I assume it works just as expected. Of course, you want to if you want to show the desktop background and whatnot, I typically leave mine the default because I don't, I don't want to slow it down as, if I can help it. Network, uh, I don't do anything in there. And the advanced, um, if you wanted to connect to console, if you're remoting into a server. And then this one was pretty cool, the override computer name. This one I may end up testing out this week at work because we have some issues with um, uh, Apple devices connecting to one of our servers um, and into one of our systems because it pulls the computer name down from the client that you're remoting in from and it's having a problem with the apostrophe in the name. So this one I may actually test to see if that can alleviate some problems. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just double click here on this connection and it actually brought it up on the other screen. I'm using dual monitors here um, and same with my login. Yeah, can't verify the identity of the server. There it is, now remoted into my desktop and the command button does kick off the Windows key. Um, Let's see, uh, I was testing out some stuff like the full screen. See, it doesn't really work. I'm trying to make, snap it. There, it should snap, there it goes. It took a little work, but you could snap it from here. In cord, it 
didn't work as well as this one but the next one I show you is actually gonna work a lot better okay this is just a quick one so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and um, close that connection and minimize this one and what I'm gonna do is bring up Microsoft's remote desktop now this is a newer one they just put out um, I don't know a couple months ago I think what we're gonna do here on this one is we're gonna go ahead and just create a new connection and it came up on my other screen let me bring that over connection name name it whatever you want uh, home PC uh, host name is gonna be 10.2.0.20 and no gateway username is so, uh, SoCalDavis at hotmail.com no password Resolution, I just want to make it 1280 by 720. I don't want full screen. And session, you can, uh, you know, same thing, connect to console, play the sound or whatnot. Redirection, I did test this out. Like, let's say we want to name this a, a folder. Um, my test folder. I don't know if spaces would work, but we'll see. We're going to browse to, let's browse to this folder here. Hit OK. Go ahead and close it. Here's my home PC. I'm going to double click it and it's opening up on my other screen. I apologize. So, a little certificate warning hit connect or continue, and then also password. Uh, and there we go. We are connected, and of course, the Windows key works. It toggles just fine. Um, the snap seems to work a little better. Actually, it works every time for me. On the other ones, it takes some work to get that to work. And um, let's see, I know copy and paste works. I tested that out. And when we come up here, you can see untitled folder on Chris's Air. That's that map folder. And I can open these up from this remote desktop. So it works smooth, no problems. So those are three different options for you guys. Um, I'm going to be trying out this Microsoft remote desktop client, the newest one and give it a run for its money and I will post comments and and uh, my thoughts even more as time goes on on the blog post in the comments section so make sure you guys subscribe you check out the site make sure you leave your own comments what do you like to use what do you not like to use and uh, we'll talk to you guys later alright see ya